Welcome back, my homo sapiens. Happy New Year. That's, uh, I guess, would be an appropriate response to today. Uh, the question and topic at hand is from uh, a subscriber that uh, just sent out an email. Uh, I don't know if his information wants to be shared or whatnot, uh, but I'll give you a little backstory. But he has found himself in retail uh, for quite a while, makes a decent living in um, retail, and asked the question whether or not he should make the switch over to a plumbing career based on security. And I think he was meaning more job security uh, in that regard. And that question really made me think. It made me stop and question kind of the, I guess, um, uh, outside perspective of what it is to be in uh, the plumbing career. Uh, so I, I thought it was a great question. Thanks for asking and, and um, you know, wanting to get more information on that. The truth is, uh, it, as much as I want to say it is a secure um, career, uh, it's really difficult for me to say it's a... Uh, a job where you won't have to look for another job, right? Right. I, I mean, there's a lot of need for plumbing uh, in general, um, and I understand with the the pandemic that had happened and and you know the economic status of things of the world and how they are you know up and down and volatile at times and um, you know job security is something you need to consider and you know if you have a family and are a sole provider or um, are looking for better benefits and whatnot. Um, you know, that's a really good question. Uh, I would say, I want to say, yeah, it's obviously a secure job, but here's the thing. Um, just because you are a part of a union, just because you might be a part of a good company, just because you're a part of, um, an industry that is larger, um, or in the trades, um, doesn't necessarily mitigate the need for you as an individual, as a person, to work hard, to show up, to be a good at what you do, to uh, keep investing, to keep growing, and to keep becoming better at what you do. And, and so that question kind of threw me off because I don't really know how to answer security in any um, job or career. I think becoming an asset to your company, becoming an asset to your union, becoming an asset to um, you know yourself I, I think creates a form of security and I don't think there's anything that could ever be a bulletproof position. Um, thankfully, I have not experienced being laid off. I have not need to experience um, looking for another job in the plumbing world. Uh, I've been very uh, benefited and um, thankful that I've been with the same company. Um, for almost five years now, and they've given me so many opportunities to learn and grow. Uh, at the same time, I also have to pat my own back <laughs> in the words of um, Snoop Dogg. I want to thank myself for working hard and for showing up and for you know offering my services, but also at the same time growing in my, hopefully my knowledge and my skills and my ability to um, be great at what I do. And so uh, to that question is, you know, I want to make a, 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 a change to uh, a better secure job. You know, it is more, I guess it is easier to find work in the plumbing world, but you got to, you got to get your license. Like you have to go through a lot of hours and a lot of steps and a lot of procedures uh, a lot of certifications, a lot of schooling to get your plumbing license. And so um, it's not really just a direct switch over from a career that you're in to this career in the trades. I wish it was an easy swap to just jump in this career, um, but it is not for the faint-hearted. It is not for those that... Um, can't handle pressure. I mean, like, I think anyone can do it. I, I really do. I think you can do it. I don't want to say anyone. Um, I want to say a lot of people could get their hands to it and get 
to no plumbing. Now, whether you stick with it because you, one, are fascinated by it, two, you're motivated by it, three, you find some type of joy and fulfillment in it, um, those are things that probably come after work. I didn't know that I had, you know, a passion or a desire or um, just a, a love for this trade. Uh, it kind of happened as I got into it more and more. But yeah, the whole security part, I have, yes, I have been very fortunate and I'm very thankful uh, to have worked through the pandemic, to have not been laid off and to have um, the ability to continue to be with the same company and um, grow in my career. So is that everyone's story? No, that is my story. Um, but I believe that if you take advantage of those opportunities and you take advantage of what's in front of you, just the task in front of you, whatever that is, like if you are becoming better at whatever it is in front of you, I don't care what that looks like. If that's organizing your tools, if it's getting better at laying out, if it's getting better at like understanding the forethought of the next step of what's, what's, what's to be done. Are you taking those reins? Are you taking that responsibility? Are you, are you taking the opportunities given to you right now? And I, I think that if you do become that asset, you will find security. Uh, I think there's kind of a, a relationship in that. So I, I do appreciate that question. Um, and I hope that you do find the right answer uh, to to who you are. So uh, again, thanks for the questions, guys. I think it's really awesome. Um, again, I'm looking into this new year. I'm coming to a close of my own life with uh, this apprenticeship uh, for the United Association uh, with my local union as a plumber. And, you know, what, what this YouTube means and what it, you know, where it needs to go, I think it's going to be different. I think it might go through uh, uh, an evaluation and, you know, maybe it'll just be an end. You never know uh, what the future holds a lot of the times. But I do appreciate um, the tribe we've created and uh, the content hopefully is beneficial to you. And uh, Happy New Year.